Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the free assets for the month of August. And for all of you who are new to Unreal Engine, basically Epic Games gives away five free marketplace assets every single month. All you have to do is open up your Epic Games launcher, claim these free asset packs. You do this every single month and you will amass a massive library of free assets. I've been doing this for quite a while and you just get so much free stuff. So in this video, we're going to be checking out all of the assets that we get for this month, the month of August. And there's quite a bit of cool stuff this month and all also, I'm going to be attempting to make a game with all these free assets, so I'll probably try and spend a day or so trying to make a game with all the assets that we get. I'll release a tutorial on it here on the channel, so make sure you subscribe for that because I have something very cool planned. Now before we get into the video, I want to really quickly tell you about my multiplayer survival game course. Learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5. We create things like an inventory system, crafting system, an open world map that uses PCG to procedurally spawn all the foliage on the map, complete building system, harvesting system. There's over 50 plus hours of course content. So head over to smartpoly.teachable.com and get an early access discount on the course. The price of the course will be raised later on. So make sure you don't miss out. So check the link in the description below or head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to learn more. So the first asset pack that we get here is the museum environment kit. So this is sort of this art museum environment and this is very high detailed and I really Really like the natural lighting in here as you can see we have all these paintings here on the wall and this is the demo level and one really cool thing is if you look really closely at the paintings especially when the light reflects off of the paintings you can see that this has this nice painting texture on it so you can see sort of like all the brush strokes and stuff on the painting just very high detailed and I'm not sure if all these paintings here are actual art pieces that are you know famous or world famous or anything or if they're just AI generated art or something that the creator of this pack made yeah you can see you have all these little descriptions on them and let's see so painted by the beautiful author yeah so it doesn't really have any custom text or anything like that but there's actually a downstairs part of this level so we can go down there but you can see just the architecture on this building is really nice even comes with these little statues. So you can see these little statues on the staircase there. There's even one down right here. And again, with the architecture, this just looks very well detailed. Even the banners here, you can see the texture on that. So yeah, you can go all the way downstairs here and this is just some more part of the art gallery. So you can see we have some more paintings down here, more different types of art styles and paintings. I really love the detail in the picture frames as well. So all the different frames on these. But yeah, that is pretty much the art museum. So so like I said, I'm going to try and make a game with all of the assets that are free for this month. So it's going to be kind of hard to incorporate some of this stuff. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments down below. But this would also be a really cool level to try out in VR. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pack. All right, next up we have these corals. So basically this is this very high detail, the underwater coral pack. So you have a lot of different assets in here and I think this level is supposed to be underwater. Like I think there's supposed to be a post-process volume that makes everything look blue like we're underwater, but for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like it's working. But you can see all the different coral assets that you get. And this is just a really neat combination of all the rocks and all that stuff. I think this is all painted onto these meshes, so you can just use the foliage tool and get sort of the same look. So I'm thinking for the game that I'm going to try and make, it's going to be sort of a underwater or maybe some sort of pirate game. We also get a ship. I'll get to that in a second. But yeah, these are all the underwater coral assets. You can go ahead and check out all of the assets in the demo level here or in the showcase so you can see all the different coral types very good if you're trying to make some sort of survival game and you need some assets for you know the beach or underwater parts of your map it's very high detailed assets here and a lot of different variations so yeah that is the corals pack let's move on okay so next up we have this ultimate ship package so basically you have sort of this pirate ship now the first thing if you're actually going to download this let me tell you right off the bat this thing is super laggy Basically, I can do a stat FPS, and you can see I'm getting about 40 frames a second in the editor, not even playing, and I'm using a 4090, so this is very bad. 
performance wise and I can show you the reason why it's giving us this frame rate so if I go into lit optimization view modes light complexity you can see that the lighting here on the ship is in the extremely bad section right here so you can see basically this is the reason why we are lagging out if I search for point lights so they placed all these point lights over here on the ship for all these lanterns so if I go back into my optimization view most light complexity if I search for point light and just select all these and delete all them you see that our frame rate skyrockets so all the lighting on there is the reason why it was all lagging out and like I said when I opened it right off the bat I noticed how laggy it was but I deleted all those so this is supposed to be the daytime level here of the pirate ship and we got sort of like this post process effect on it so you can see how sort of this uh, grainy look to it I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off so we can actually see what the asset looks like so yeah we get this pirate ship here now you can see this asset it's all right honestly like it's very blocky the style and model of the ship there's a lot of different assets that come included in this pack like all the lanterns and if you actually go onto the ship there is a lot of assets on the ship itself like the cannon the ropes barrels all that stuff all that stuff is very nice to have included so again I'm thinking of doing some sort of pirate game or something like that because we have the corals pack we have this pirate ship and one thing I do not like about this pack is the fact that they used uh, different ropes here so if you actually look at these ropes these are cable actors and basically what that is is you can use like a cable component so you can specify the two points where the cable attaches and basically this like simulates physics now in theory this is pretty cool but this is just an untextured cable component basically and there's no actual rope assets which is kind of lame so I don't like the way they did this they really should have added a modeled rope mesh for this and I understand they're probably trying to make it so it you know simulates physics and all that stuff and it looks cool but it really doesn't look that great but yeah that is the ship mesh I can give you guys a little bit more detail there's no interior so if you go underneath it there's really no interior or anything like that but like I said there's a lot of assets that come included on this so you can see many different barrel types ropes cannonballs many different types of props but yeah that is the pirate ship like I said it's kind of a blocky mesh so I mean I don't really like the style of it but that's just me let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below but let's go ahead and move on to the next asset pack okay so next up we have this Venice asset pack basically we have sort of these canals and this very nice map so you have this water material you have all these little bridges that cross over the canals here and just a very beautiful level you can see all the trees are sort of this autumn theme so you can see all the leaves falling down and I can even zoom up on the sides of these and you can see sort of this buildup of I'm not sure what you'd call this like algae or something like that mold I don't know but you have these gondola meshes so you can see how detailed these are so you have them placed around the level but it's a very nice map all the buildings in here are modular as well so even the canals so you can create your own canal map or anything like that we have the streets sort of this courtyard area but yeah I really like the effort they put into creating this map so we can go over to the very end here so yeah that's the end of the canal so we can go back into the center of the map over here but yeah you can just see all the different bridges and this sort of alleyway maybe this part is unfinished so I don't think we're actually supposed to go over there but if I zoom out I'm going to show you guys how big the area of the map is so pretty decent size and here's the overview level so these are all the assets that come included like I mentioned before these are all modular so you can see all the buildings and all that stuff they created with just a couple of these asset combinations so you have things like different window frames different windows different roof pieces chimneys stuff like that at the back we have the different canal bridges so you can see all the different bridge types quite a bit of different types if you ask me and then the tree models in the back they're pretty decently detailed they're not like you know mega scans quality or anything like that but I think they're pretty well optimized and they look pretty nice 
and of course some of the other props that we saw here things like the stepways to the canals uh, street lights all that stuff the actual gondola and some of the other storefront props now again I'm gonna try and make a game with all these assets so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna integrate this into my pirate themed game maybe I'll use something like the tree uh, props and stuff like that but yeah this is the Venice pack let's go ahead and move on to the next and actually the last asset pack so last up here we have this immersive template that's what it's called so if I hit play here basically you have sort of this character has sounds on it and you can sort of interact with different objects so I can go ahead and press E to interact so you can see I pick up this package and I can drop it at different points so these little arrows represent the little places where I can drop this package and it kind of has this funny animation when you pick up the box and place down the box I don't know if I can actually pick that back up we have things like this mug and see I have this little mug in my character's hand go ahead and place it down then over here we have this chair so check this out I press E sit down so they have different types so this one like instantly puts you in the chair this one actually plays like an animation of getting up and sitting back down. And then this one, it's kind of funny, you just move the chair. It's kind of glitchy too, but the way like he gets out. Over here, you can see we have this door. So you need to pick up this key card. So go ahead and pick this up. And the door will actually go ahead and open up. Okay. Now this part, I'm not really sure what to do when you get to this area. I think there's a torch you should also be able to pick up. But, okay, yeah, so here we go. So one, I'll go ahead and actually light the fire. So I have this little torch. So that's kind of cool, you can press one to light and extinguish. So you have like different actions, I guess. But yeah, this is pretty much the immersive template. So basically you have sort of these different interactions and different objects that you can interact with. Basically those are all the free asset packs that we get for this month. And I'm leaning towards, you know, things like the museum kit, the corals, and the Venice pack. Those are pretty good asset packs to have. The pirate ship or the ultimate ship package was a little cool, but it was a little bit of a letdown seeing it up close and just seeing some of the components on it. But like I said, I'm going to be making a game with all of these free assets. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions down in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you guys think about the free assets this month. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.